And of course, there's more to Basque music than the Chalaparta. Back in the 19th century, Italian railway workers brought their accordions and the Basques loved what they heard. This combination of button accordion and tambourine is a Basque speciality. It's known as Trichetisha. Singing your own songs, in your own language, that's something that's always been important to the Basque people. For the sounds of uh, tambourine, no, uh, the sound is like tricky, 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 and yeah. the couple is tricky tisha. Some people say that our Basque language, our culture, is, is the most important part of our identity. So for us, our culture, our music is part of our culture. It's really, really important for, for our identity. The combination of button and piano accordion along with the chalaparta was certainly new to me. But as a special cider house blend of Scotland and the Basque country, it worked just fine. And when the bass tune came to an end, it was straight into a wee tune I'd written myself. Come on, para handy. It's been fascinating to discover just how Celtic music won over the provinces of northern Spain, Galicia, Asturias, and here in the Basque country. How it became a welcome antidote to the years of oppression under Franco. And if you sample the music, it's only polite to sample a little of the local speciality. But just as the cider house began to fill up, I had to make a dash for the sleeper train to France. We're in Vittoria at the minute. We finished off at the cidreria, the cider house, um, about two hours away, we managed to get here, the train was late, we thought it wasn't coming, <laughs> so um, we've had a wonderful time on the north coast of Spain, Galicia, Asturias, the Basque Country, we're now heading for Brittany. <laughs> well at least one of us got a good night's sleep. <laughs> <laughs> 